Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And this is my performance review of the New Balance 2-Way 2. So this shoe is going for 130 bucks. If you guys do want a cop, I'll leave an affiliate link in the description box. There's this colorway available and another new colorway that just came out. I just checked and all the sizes are available. So again, links are below if you guys do want a cop. But let's get it started off with the track Shiones. And here in the forefoot and midfoot, we have a solid rubber outsole. And then in the heel, we have a translucent outsole. And then also here in the forefoot, we have a new balance lug, which is pretty interesting. And then some holes here in the heel, which it aren't really holes. I mean, the rubber outsole is still there. Uh, I don't know why they put that. It's a pretty uh, interesting design uh, but either way how does it perform it performs absolutely amazing guys on a clean court you're gonna be stopping on the dime and also I really didn't have to break it in at all you know right off the bat you know my first day playing in these I had an amazing bite uh, so yeah, yeah you're gonna be stopping on a dime it's gonna feel like you're playing on glue all that good stuff is top tier trashing if you're playing on a dusty court also you're gonna be good to go I mean very minimal dust pickup I mean it picks up dust a little bit uh, but it's a very easy way. We just go boom and you're good to go and you have amazing stops again. So yeah, if you're playing on a dusty court, you're gonna be fine. You're actually gonna have a good time. It performs exceptionally well on dust too. If you're playing on an outdoor court, however, I mean, the grooves are far apart, uh, but the, also the grooves are thin, right? Uh, the grooves are thin, but the rubber's quite hard. So I feel like it would be okay for outdoor use, but definitely not the best option. So um, yeah, just be careful on that. Also take that with a grain of salt because I did not play with this shoe on an outdoor court. Um, but if you're playing on an indoor court, you're gonna be good to go. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. It's top tier, it's a top traction pattern. Uh, as far as the heel to toe transition goes, it's also very, very smooth, right? So here in the heel, we have a nice rounded shape and um, it's pretty caged actually. If you look in the all the way back here in the heel, right? We have this plastic piece and also the rubber outsole coming up to cage it, but we still have really good heel compression and there's nice bounce from this actual midsole. So when you're kind of like doing heel dominant strides, it feels very nice in the heel. And then here in the forefoot, we have a really curved shape and it's super flexible as well, but it's very stiff here in the midfoot, so we have good torsion support. So when you're doing heel dominant strides down the court, it's absolutely amazing, very, very smooth. It has a very smooth, right? So uh, there's that. Moving on to the cushioning setup. Also, the cushioning setup surprised me. You know, I actually, fuel cell is really nice. It's just, uh, it, it, New Balance cages it. And also, I feel like in their, like, a different models, they change up the compound of fuel cell. I don't know how or why, uh, but it does feel different, you know, it's, uh, comparing to like the Omnis and then like the Kawhi and the Kawhi 2. Uh, but either way, here in the 2A2, it's really, really nice, right? So it, as far as the core feel goes, you feel extremely low to the ground. It's as low as Harden's. That's how low to the ground you are, right? So comparing to like the Harden Volume 6, the Harden Volume 4, Harden Volume 3, it's on that level, right? So you're right on top of the ground, but impact protection also is really good. You know, I, my feet never really hurt that much. I mean, if I was doing really hard impacts, then it did hurt a little bit, especially comparing to other shoes that have uh, slightly better impact protection, like, you know, the KD15, KD14. Um, but for the most part, my feet didn't really hurt that much, right? So it has really good impact protection for how low to the ground you are. And then you have uh, the heel compression, right? The heel compression is actually pretty nice. It's soft. It's not super soft and super mushy, you know, uh, but it's soft enough to where I liked it. And like I said, we have a nice rebound back and a nice bounce back. So here in the heel, it feels really nice. It kind of like propels you forward a little bit. Uh, so it's a really good blend of everything, you know, a uh, good court feel, good compression, uh, good responsiveness, good impact protection. It just does everything really, really well. It's not a cushioning setup where it's like super crazy, you know, like how Nike does it nowadays with the full length zoom struggle unit or whatever. Uh, but if you want a no BS cushioning setup that feels really nice, right, with court feel and has good impact protection, then this is an amazing cushioning setup. I really like it. Uh, so there is the cushioning setup there. Moving on to the material. So they're calling this a kinetic stitch upper, which is pretty interesting because it also says fit weave light. 
but in their tech specs it says kin kinetic stitch which is interesting but uh it feels nice you know on foot it's really really comfortable right as you guys can see it's very easily moved with my fingers it conforms to your foot really really well it just moves with the movement of your foot we have some fuse here at the edge of the toe uh for extra added durability and support you know so if you're doing toe drags you're gonna be good to go but it's an extremely thin material here in the forefoot and here in the midfoot also for the tongue we have i would say like an average amount of padding you know not like crazy padding but also not super thin also it is a half booty construction tongue uh and then here in the ankle area we also have very minimal padding and then the lining material is more of like a mesh material kind of right but yeah this material feels extremely minimal and very lightweight on foot i really like how it feels it also feels pretty supportive we'll get to that in support uh, but overall it feels really nice on foot right but as far as the material quality goes it's not the best you know it's like a there's like a little bit of screen mesh over this kinetic stitch upper and the fuse also kind of looks cheap and then here in the ankle area we have like a synthetic suede or nubuck type of material which also doesn't feel great so for 130 bucks it's not the best you know i definitely wish the quality of the material was better and also i don't really like how uh, the foam looks as well this like texture on the the fuel cell looks like styrofoam to me so I don't really like how that looks, but uh, it feels really nice on foot and also very minimal. Moving on to the fit, I went true to size and it fits me extremely well, right? Uh, so for the length, I was good to go true to size. My toes go pretty much right to the edge of the shoe. Uh, it's also slightly narrow, right? And uh, here in the toe box, this material actually stretches out a little bit. You know, uh, it's actually a soft material, so it got a little bit roomier here in the toe box. And it's also not to the point where it's like super roomy where I don't like it. I just got a little bit roomier. So if at first the fit is a little bit tight for you here in the toe box, you should be fine. Just give it some time to break in, right? Uh, so for me, it's a great fit. And if you have a wide foot or you want a roomier fit in the toe box, I'll probably just go up half a size. All right, moving on to the support and lockdown, I had zero issues, right? So for lateral containment, I was good to go. Uh, as you guys can see, as far as the sidewall goes, the foam does come up to act as a sidewall here in the forefoot, here in the midfoot. And I guess not really here in the heel, but we do have an internal TPU heel counter. So uh, I thought I was going to be good to go, right? But uh, I would say if you're heavier, right? If you're a heavier dude and you do a lot of shifty like lateral movements and you want the best support ever, the two-way two isn't the best, right? Uh, I just felt my foot moving a little bit, you know, like uh, the material moving over on itself like rolling over on itself just a tiny bit right like i said i had no issues right it wasn't a huge deal at all i just felt it a little bit and if i felt it you know i'm a lighter dude uh if you're heavier you'll probably feel it a little bit more i still don't think it'll be terrible for support especially on lateral containment it's just uh it's just not the most supportive shoe that you can get especially comparing it to like a shoe that has a lot of support like you know the Harden Volume 6 or the MB1 whereas that has really good support uh, so don't expect the best support but if that's not a like a priority for you you should be fine for lateral containment uh, for lateral stability as also you'll be good to go you know we have a very wide base you know it sticks out as far as the outsole and midsole goes and you're super low to the ground so uh, lateral stability was good as well as far as the ankle support it's like a mid cut shoe um, but I still had good ankle mobility and didn't really restrict my ankle movement that much. You know, I still felt like, you know, I could roll my ankle a little bit. So not great for ankle support. Uh, all right, moving on to the weight of the shoe. If I remember correctly, this shoe is extremely light because, you know, I played in it and <laughs> uh, feeling it in hand, it feels extremely light. It's like what, 11, 10, 11, 10.9 ounces, guys. Let's check the other pair, 10.76 ounces. So extremely, extremely light. And uh, yeah, I love how it feels. Yeah, when I was playing it, I just felt extremely responsive and very quick on my feet because this shoe is just so responsive. Like the traction is really good. The cushion is low to the ground and responsive, but you also get that nice bounce from the heel. It's not too mushy or anything. Support was great. Fit was great as well. I had no issues with it. So uh, yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed playing in this shoe. All right, moving on to the ventilation. <sighs> There is a little bit of airflow through this kinetic stitch upper and then the tongue. I mean, it's like a mesh, but it's like thicker. So there's not a whole lot of airflow, um, but the material is overall pretty thin or actually really thin. So it doesn't keep in heat that well. So uh, ventilation, I would say is pretty good in the two way too. All right, moving on to the aesthetics. It's nice. Uh, it's not my favorite just because I don't like how it looks as far as like the quality goes, right? So like 
looking kind of far away, <laughs> it looks nice. And the, the overall design looks great. I love the oversized New Balance logo. But when you, you know, like look at it pretty close, it looks cheap and um, not a huge fan of how it looks, right? So uh, yeah, there is the aesthetics there. Tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, the two-way two is one of my favorite shoes to ball in right now. Uh, it surprised me a lot, but yeah, I mean, I really, really enjoy playing it. You know, it's up there with my top performers right now, like the KD14, PG6, uh, the MB1, the Zoom Separate, the Korean. It, it, this shoe is gonna be right here. You know, these are like my favorite shoes to ball in. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, I'll keep these shoes right here and it'll stay there. I absolutely love playing in these and this will be heavily in my rotation. So yeah, do I recommend it to you guys 100% and I recommend it for most people, right? Um, like if you're a guard and you're looking for a very responsive shoe, this is a, an amazing option. Uh, also, if you're a shooting guard, it should be fine. Uh, if you're a bigger dude, just be careful. It's an amazing shoe. It's just like not the most supportive. So if support is your priority, this probably isn't the best option, but I still feel like uh, you can make it work, right? So anyways, I uh, hope this review helped you guys out and that about concludes this review. Again, if you guys do want to cop, I'll try to leave an affiliate link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.